Do do di. It's Nandi. Hello, friends. It's Nandi, and I'm back today with a conversation with the Inquisitor, a community member who has been working on an exciting project that we're planning and sharing today. He is part of a dynamic duo, working with another player called Martin Hatch, who unfortunately couldn't be with us for the call, but is no less deserving of the credit. Without further ado. Good morning, Inquisitor, and thanks so much for coming along today. Um, a lot of our viewers will not have met you or not have heard of you before. So why don't we start by introducing yourself and your colleague who unfortunately couldn't be along with us today. Hi, uh, I am the Inquisitor. I am here representing the uh, Invictus IVS Alliance Guild. Um, my co-conspirator Martin Hatch and I have been working on a project to uh, get some cool stats from the game. Lovely, and thanks, thanks again for coming along. So why don't we start by a sort of preamble or maybe a brief description about what this is all about and why we decided to sit down around the table today to talk to our viewers. A lot of the top guilds inside Tauticus are very data-driven. Martin Hatch has done an awesome job with um, curating all of these amazing charts and figures into spreadsheets and we were getting updates every couple of weeks to see how we're doing whether that's power growth of the players or guild raid uh, finishes at the end of each season uh, tracking how we're each guild is improving over time it's a lot of manual labor it's a labor of love really it takes time to go in, find each guild in the game, click through into each player, manually record their power. It, it's a, a lot of work involved. Yeah, absolutely. And I can, you know, having having done some similar work in Panzer Forest, I can tell you, or rather agree with you, that it definitely does take a lot of time and a lot of buy-in from people in order to run smoothly and effectively. So you guys came up with some spreadsheets and essentially those spreadsheets rely on manual inputs. So you are all very clever people, I understand, with some programming and IT background. So how did that progress on to the next step? Yeah, well, I offered to help out with the spreadsheets and very quickly got tired of the amount of time it would take me to go through, look at all the stuff in the game. So I got to thinking, surely there has to be some sort of conversation that happens between the game and Snowprint in order to show the data on our screens. So maybe I could use some of this IT knowledge I had to listen into that conversation and try and reverse engineer it um, so that maybe I could speak to Snowprint and get some of this information. So by listening in on this conversation, it sounds like you're essentially looking at the data that the app gives back to Snowprint and trying to automate collection of this data into your virtual spreadsheet for your analysis. Is that fair? Um, yeah, basically. Okay, and how did that go? What happened when you started this automation process? Um, well, we, um, we got a, a lot of data that we weren't expecting. So based on that, we thought, well, this is cool, but we started this project with the sole goal of being able to automate the manual data entry, nothing more. When we realized that there was quite a lot of extra stuff here, we thought, well, it's time to go and talk to Snowprint. Martin blazed a course and went and started a conversation with them and say, look, guys, we're doing this thing. We hope you don't mind. Actually, they were really cool about it. But yeah, we um, explained to them what we that we saw a lot more than we probably should have been able to and they were very responsive in getting that one patched and uh, closing that door okay so great you've got a conversation going with snowprint and you've, you've closed a lot of those extra avenues for data access is that a fair summary of things yeah it is um and this is uh, you know absolutely in no way official uh, Snowprint are aware of what we're up to, which is great because um, it's not been blessed, but it's not been discouraged either. Well, that, I think I think that's really good and a really positive sign because it's certainly something that a lot of the top guilds need and have been asking for, um, not just in this game, but in a lot of games in order for us to more effectively track progress and various metrics. So 
um, you're working with them and you're you're trying to get the bot um, or or sort of this information gatherer to be as effective as possible. So I thought maybe that might be a, a nice segue into a video demonstration so that we could talk about what the bot can do at the moment. Yeah, um, I guess just before that, um, it's worth pointing out that we were able to gather all of this data automatically, but it's effectively in a, another form of spreadsheet. It's just into a database. So we needed to try and figure out what is the best way of presenting this data to players in game. And seeing as Discord is very heavily used um, in all of the top guilds, it made sense to create a Discord bot as the presentation layer for all of this data because it's really accessible. Yeah, that sounds sounds fantastic. So everyone who owns Discord or has a Discord channel for their own guild or their own cluster will be able to use this bot. Is that is that right? Yeah, absolutely. And if we can twist Snow Prince arm a little bit, we'd love to get this into the community Tacticus Discord server as well. So even if you didn't have Discord for your guild, it would be something that's open to everyone in the community. Okay, that sounds that sounds great. Why don't we have a look at this footage that you've kindly curated for us and we can talk through what the bot can currently do. Sounds great. So um, our bot offers a selection of commands for you to be able to run. Uh, we've got all sorts of things for recruitment, um, for guild raids, for stats tracking, um, some of these are just available within the Invictus cluster at the moment. As we start to iron out the bugs, we'll be rolling these out to other clusters uh, that have installed the bot. So, for example, one question that we're all constantly asking is, do we have room for new players in our guild? So we've been able to implement this cool capacity command, which will go talk to Snowprint, find out how many players we've got in each guild. Um, do we have room for new players or not? And you can even input things like the player's power level is, so it'll only show you guilds that they could be eligible for joining. Um, we also have a, another feature for recruitment, which is the feature of viewing inactive players so a lot of our guilds have a kick policy for inactivity after so many days so we can actually then query and find out who's been inactive so that our captains know which players are eligible for kicking um, but also kind of helps with that recruitment thing as well whereby if we don't have space we can go and find out if there are players that are potentially aren't active anymore and we can move them on to go and bring an active player into the guild. Um, we also have a, maybe my favorite command actually, the guild raid uh, leaderboard tracker um, that lets us, uh, for all the guilds in our cluster, it lets us find out where they are in the global guild raid leaderboard, uh, which tier they're up to, how much damage they've done against the in total, and which boss they're at as well. And for the faster guilds, uh, we'll start adding a lap counter on the legendary bosses as well. So yeah, this is um, this is a fun one. Uh, eventually, I'm hoping to collect this on an hourly basis, so we can draw a, a graph then and show um, how you tracked across the entirety of the GR season. Okay, that sounds fantastic, and I can see that you've got a load of resources here. Uh, you know, this 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 makes it seem like, particularly for those involved in guild leadership and guild recruiting, that there's going to be a plethora of resources that will help them, and really reduce some stress and take some burden off their shoulders. So that's that's fantastic. Um, people are going to want to know what's coming next. Is there you've you've alluded to to, to how the rollout is going to happen to the wider uh, community, I suppose. But is there anything you can tell us about newer features for the bot that are in the works? Yeah, absolutely. A um, couple of ones that I didn't cover there, but um, are in the video are the individual player stat tracking. So you can track your power growth over time. Uh, we'll probably enrich this with more interesting per player stats as we go on. Um, the other one, which is another of my favorites is the guild stats tracker 
which gives you a breakdown of power in your guild right now um, and also gives you some charts on uh, trends on stat change over time so you can query over overall time last month two weeks week uh, etc so you can see how your players are growing over that period of time so we've got all of this cool data um, and pretty charts and they will appear a bit small on the screen but when you click into them they do enlarge and you can actually really dig in and read the data there now let's say i'm a viewer and i've i've been captivated by the romance of this bot can I use it? How do I use it and how do I install it? Is there anything specific that I need to do? All it needs is for a server admin to click the invite link and then follow the prompts from Discord. We're keeping that link under wraps at the moment just because this is all free time fun project. Um, as we start adding more users, we'll put more stress on the system and the whole thing could fall over. So we're slowly and very intentionally rolling this out to some of the other cluster guilds. Um, to try and get some feedback and make sure this scales. And then at some point, uh, we'll be able to roll this out to absolutely everybody. One of the questions we get asked a lot is how secure is it? And we thought a lot about that and have designed it such that if you are in the Invictus Discord, you only see Invictus guilds. If you're in the Panzer Horus Discord, you only see Panzer Horus guilds. That's all backed up by checks in the game to make sure that only a guild leader or co-leader can register a guild into a Discord server in the first place. That's very kind and very generous of, of you and your cluster and everyone who's been working on the project because it sounds like truly a labor of love in the best interests of the community. So thank you again on behalf of everyone. I have a few other questions and one of them probably ties into the last thing you said in that this is at the moment being done as a hobby. So I have a, a limited understanding of, of information technology and programming, but I would have thought that a bot like this needs to have a server somewhere in order to answer queries and be hosted. So how is that all being done at the moment? Is that just off the back of yourself and your fellow co-conspirators? Yeah, um, we're trying to do this on uh, free hosting. So uh, a lot of providers offer you fair use, free tier up to a certain amount. And so far we're within those limits. Um, uh, we can host this for free for now, which is amazing, but um, we're not sure how long we'll be able to get away with that for, but we'll see. Uh, well, thanks again for your time, Inquisitor, and, and please pass on my thanks to your colleagues who couldn't be with us on this call today. I think it's really going to help those cluster leaders who are looking to reduce their own personal time commitment and automate some of their work in the game. So thanks again from all of us, and um, I, I, I can't wait to be kept abreast of updates, and I'm, I'm sure Snowprint will let us know if and when things uh, become official. Thanks for listening, folks. These two guys have done a tremendous amount of work in their own time to make this a valuable resource for the rest of us in the community. I've left their referral codes on screen, and if you're a newer player, please consider entering their code as a small way of showing your thanks and appreciation. You can only use one of their codes, but doing so will earn you 100 Blackstone as a nice way of saying thanks and bolstering your own reserves. Finally, as always, Pants of Horus and Invictus, the cluster where the Inquisitor and Martin Hatch play Tacticus, are always looking for new recruits. Feel free to drop by via the link in the video description below. Do do dee. It's Nandi!